previously on The Friendly Men. Mark the Animal Mendoza wins the air guitar competition. Mark, how do you feel? You beat Scrooge. <laughs> oh my God, it is Scrooge. He is back from the grave. No, he cannot be back. But we know the impending doom is coming. Very, very soon, they'll begin to notice. We're gonna eat him like flies. <laughs> <laughs> but a man by the name of Herman Buford has reached out to us, and this is what he says. Dude, I love this show. You guys are the best thing on the internet. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this lovely episode of The Friendly Man. Mark, Hello. how have you been doing? I've been great. Mark, more, Mark, less emotion, less emotion. Okay. I've been great, James. <laughs> Tell me about your life when you were 25 years old. Wasn't it like the best time of your life? I mean, see, I, I, I had just gotten a new car actually uh, right before 25. So when I was 25, I had a new vehicle. Before 25, I, uh, my previous car had caught on fire, which was comprehensive damage. So it wasn't my fault. So it didn't really dock me too much. So. But what I did do, though, is I added rental coverage to my insurance, and so that way I could get a rental car if anything bad happened to my replacement car. Mark, do you think that there should be a change? Baseball players should be at the right age of 25. What are your thoughts, Mark? I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, you get people in the prime of their life. Age of 25 is perfect. And then you can save a lot of money, too, because then you get rid of all the people that aren't 25. Absolutely, and all those greedy Beep. that want more and more money only have one year contract and then they get out and then they get jobs at Sam's Club, right? That's right, they make a lot of money, but they have to manage it better because they only get it for one year. I think we should go back to our lovely website, change.org. What do you think, Mark? We need to make the world a better place and we can start by making baseball for 25 years. The headline is only 25-year-olds should be allowed to play baseball. MLB, MLB baseball. Mark, who can then make this happen? Not Nort, <laughs> Nort John Wick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that can do yeah, it. Yeah, let's get Nort in here. And, and how about... Uh, Commander Gort. Of yep, he can do it too. Space, Space Frog. Frog Expedition. Hello, friends. How does the Abraham Lincoln speech start again? Hello, friends and countrymen. Four scores and nine years ago, baseball players who are at the age of 25 are the best baseball players ever. Okay, and publish! Yes. <laughs> Mark, do you feel that we are gonna go places with this new petition? What do you think, Mark? Hello? 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 Can anybody hear me? Is this thing even working? What? Oh, Mark, what's going on? What's going on, Mark? Uh, I'm not sure. Is, who is this guy? Mark? <laughs> James? My name is Herman Buford, and I have been a fan of yours for a very long time. Herman Buford, Mark, where have we heard Herman Buford's name before, Mark? Let me think. Ah, it's from the mailbag episode. We have gotten a, I don't know if this is a question, but it seems to me like a compliment, Mark. But a man by the name of Herman Buford has reached out to us. And this Wow. What, I've written what, you many letters. I've only mailed you one, though. Well, how can we help you, Mr. Buford? It is I that would love to help you, Mark. I would like to purchase your show. I would like to go ahead, dip into my own savings, and invest to purchase James and Mark and the Friendly Men. This is brilliant. This is the greatest day of my life. Mr. Buford. We, Mark and I, would like to know, what do you see our show like in the future? 
we're gonna clean it up a little. Make it something I can show my mother. I'd like to see the friendly men become the family friendly men. Just so pleased to have my two favorite celebrity icons, James with your long flowing hair, Mark with your impressions. Oh, I love them so. Do one for me now, will you please? Mark, you are Christian Bale apologizing on the set of Terminator Salvation because he got angry with some PA that messed with his light. Go ahead, Mark. Hello, sir. My name is Christian Bale. Just want to let you know I'm sorry I yelled at you on the set. I always thought of myself as a good guy, a defender. I'm kind of like the Batman. Defend the city, stop the bad guys. And I acted like a bad guy when I yelled at you. <laughs> Mark, do another one for me, please! Do Sean Connery uh, meeting an oil man. Hello, my name is Sean Connery. And I'm meeting today with an oil man. I need oil for my vehicle. <laughs> ah, one more! One more! <laughs> oh, okay, I have one more, Mark. Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is going on Christian Mingle to find a girlfriend! <laughs> oh, oh, my name is Donatello. You know, I'm a Ninja Turtle and all. I've been using this website called Christian Mingle to find a woman, but guess what? None of the female girls believe in Jesus and they're not on the site. I am upset beyond belief. You nailed it! <laughs> well, boys, we've had a lot of fun today. Are we ready to dance? We're gonna dance. We're gonna take it all the way to the dance hall. And then we're also gonna go some other places too. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate. We're going to have a good time. Celebrate good times. Come on. We're going to celebrate. Celebrate good times. Woo -hoo! Mr. Beaver, on behalf of Mark and I at the Friendly Men Corporation, we have gladly accepted your offer. Wonderful, boys. Now I can make a ton of money. We can make a ton of money. <laughs> said, no tuber went after we're bought by Herman H. Buford, right, Mark? How do you feel right now? I couldn't feel any better. I'm celebrating, got my uh my spirits, and my spirits are high. What's the first thing you're gonna buy with with your money? What's the first thing you're gonna buy? Um, some whiskey. <laughs>